our political correspondent, Leila Nathu. So, Leila, uh, the Prime Minister is back at work, back at Downing Street uh, tomorrow. Lots for him to consider. Yeah, Boris Johnson has been recovering now for more than two weeks since he was sent home from hospital, but we now know that he is well enough to be back at work in Downing Street tomorrow. I spoke to the Prime Minister yesterday. He's in good shape. And uh, he'll, I'm sure he'll uh, come back as soon as his uh, doctors recommend it. The terrible milestone the country didn't want to reach. The total UK deaths from coronavirus passes 20,000. This is ITV News with Romilly Weeks. Good evening. The UK today passed a sombre milestone. Today's latest figures show there have been another 813 deaths in hospital, taking the total to 20,319. Despite the Herculean efforts of the NHS, today brought another terrible milestone. Over 20,000 people have now died of COVID-19 in the UK's hospitals, passing a mark that just six weeks ago the government's scientific experts believed might never be reached. When Sir Patrick Valance and I made that comment a number of weeks ago, uh, what we were emphasising was that this is a new virus, a global pandemic, uh, a once-in-a-century global health crisis, uh, and this was going to be a huge challenge, not just for the UK, but for every country. This is Julia Penfold, a grandmother and for decades a much-loved nurse who died this week in the same hospital she once worked in. She'll never be forgotten, never, because of, of the way she was and her work as a nurse. I mean, she was so loved in the hospitals for all the different uh, positions she worked as. The, the girls and nurses all made time to come and see her. So everyone wants to come and believe that, you know, Julie's not here. She's gone. This is an international challenge that many other countries are experiencing. Alongside the efforts of British businesses and our embassies around the world, we are working hard to get the PPE our frontline NHS and social care staff need. And we are receiving shipments of PPE regularly from suppliers in the UK and abroad. Cheltenham Racecourse, just over five weeks ago. Now, silent. These images on March the 13th symbolise Britain's late entry into lockdown lagging so many in Europe and beyond. Chinese New Year in Beijing, London's Soho the same day. Two months from showdown, why was Britain so slow? There's been much focus inevitably on Boris Johnson. Every bone of his body recoiled against the nanny state and it showed. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Obviously Mother's Day this Sunday. Are you urging people to stay away from their mothers and will you be seeing yours? I'll certainly be sending her my very best wishes and hope to get to see her. But was uh, Boris Johnson really defying advice from top scientists by allowing sports events and normal life to carry on through February and into March? There were stark warnings into the system as early as the 26th of February. One committee of experts warning in the event of a pandemic without action, the NHS will be unable to meet all demands placed on it. Another report on the 2nd of March, fed into the system, said it's highly likely there is sustained transmission of COVID-19 in the UK at present. The same report warns 80% of people in the country could be infected with COVID over time and up to half a million might die. Uh, Robert Peston of ITV. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and good to have you back, Prime Minister. Um, you made the important point that we've avoided the reasonable worst case of 500,000 deaths, but by your own chart, the death toll in the UK is possibly the worst in Europe, certainly amongst the worst in Europe. As we he head into the second phase, what lessons have you learned from that seemingly worrying outcome. You know, I think we did the right measures at the, uh, at the right time. And so I think it was completely right to uh, make our period of lockdown uh, coincide as far as we possibly could. I want to thank the NHS for so much, including getting me back here and, I might add, for a much happier hospital visit yesterday. 
That's funny. You haven't changed at all. <laughs> they haven't changed a bit, have they? Must have forgotten that we got bills to pay. Jerry! Yeah, what, what, what can I do for you? Show me the money. And now it's time to pay! Get me some money too.